really bad. Like, that's just scary looking. Ugh! Alright. I mean, he's a cool design, he's got a cool voice, he's got, you know, it's whatever, cool attacks. But his lines are so bad. We're not even through this dungeon, it's taking forever. I feel like we haven't made a lot of progress. But maybe it's just because I need to take a shit wicked man. Oh, see? He, so this is what they do with Overwatch. It really pisses me off. Um, like, it just really gets to me, because it's just like... We get it. It's their whole char their whole character. It's so. I saw a review. It's a it was a Plinket review. It's, so that's what if you know who Plinket is, he is like this legendary, fucking online reviewer. He makes these insane videos. They're super long. They're super in depth about movies. And he did one for the prequels for Star Wars. And he challenged some people he knew. He would give them a character from the prequels, and he would say, uh, can you describe, say, uh, Queen Amidala, without describing how she looks, or what her job is, can you describe her? And you can't. Whereas, the people were like, um, she's a queen? Uh, I guess, no, I guess that's their job, her job, I can't really... You hold no sway of the realm, nightmare lord. Fucking get owned, mouth. Uh, okay, so, so you try to uh, like describe Queen Amidala, and you're like, uh, she's strong, and it's like, okay, describe describe uh, Obi Wan. He's uh, Kiwi, stop! She's pulling shit out of the trash can. She doesn't give a fuck what I think. Um. So, in Overwatch, can you describe any of the characters without getting into what they look like, or what their role is, or what their job, like, what, you know, about their life? Like, can you describe them as people? Are they impatient? Are they bold? Are they brave? No. You fucking can't, almost. Because all of their lines are just reiterations of who they're supposed to be. So it's like Winston, for example. He's, he's the gorilla scientist. And all he says is basically different iterations of the phrase, I'm a gorilla scientist. So one of his lines is, uh, you know, it's a, I mean, I get it, they're cute jokes. You know, not every character needs to be... You know, I don't need a fucking novel about each character. I don't need a character profile. But it's just, like, so that tree guy, all he said was, I'm a tree, I'm a tree, over and over. He just had these little different puns the whole time. Just, my bark is worse than my bite. Prepare to become kindling. It's time we get to the root of the problem. I told you to leave me alone. Fuck that. It's just like, he has no character at all. Um, meanwhile, Malfurion, he's not saying, I'm a druid, I'm a druid, he's saying, you hold no sway over this realm, nightmare lord, he's, he's, he's bold, he's brave, he's imprisoned, but he's still talking shit. Xavius, he seems arrogant, uh, he seems aggressive, he seems, uh, self-important, that kind of shit. Whereas, like, okay, so, describe Darth Vader. He's very dark. He's he's ruthless. That kind of shit. You can, you know, he's he's incredibly aggressive, and his confidence is is just rock solid. He believes the dark side is the one true path, and that there's no force that can stand against it. That kind of shit. That's good shit. But Winston, all he says is, you know, no, I do not want a banana. And shit like that. How embarrassing. Like, that's not a character. That's just like, oh, I get it. You're a nerd. So it's like, I'm a nerd gorilla. I'm a nerd gorilla. I'm a gorilla that likes science. It's, he just say shit like, Houston, we have a problem. And that's fine. It's a fun game. <laughs> My birdies. Oh, shit. I'm almost dead. 
Um, so, like, I don't know. It's just kind of repetitive. It doesn't really tell me anything. It's not very funny to me. Don't touch the eggs. Don't touch the eggs. Don't touch the eggs. Don't touch the eggs. Mm, kiss the eggs. <laughs> kiss the tank. Uh, I have a button on my hotbar labeled instant death. If you can see it, it's um so at the bottom of the mid on the middle of the bottom of the screen, if that makes any sense. So at the bottom of the screen, there's a bunch of icons. Um you can see them, they're sort of go moving like a clock right now. Uh, that's one of my action bars. That's a couple of my action bars. You can see one, two, three, four, all that shit. Right now, two is glowing. Shit. Um, so. Oh, shit. Well, at least no one's died. Hey, you know, any, any, any dungeon where no one dies is a good dungeon. Alright, so this guy, the way he works, is that he pushes you into these eggs. If you even fucking breathe on them, they open up and they, uh, they get these whelps, which is pretty shitty. Hold on, I think I can do this. Let's do this. Yeah, that's a good idea. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Where is the... No, no, no. Eggs, eggs. Where is the fucking... Is he outside? God damn it. That's why this sucked. One of the DPS is outside. He's trapped outside right there. See? There he is. What the fuck are you doing, guy? That is the wrong way. Alright, you know what? Fuck you. Alright, so... Um... Let's see. Talked about how I got mad. <laughs> that was fun. Salt curses. Sorry, man. You're cursed. <laughs> You're cursed. Hmm. I should probably eat something. I believe I'm going to have a hot pocket. Politics, that was easy. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a lot of bad. Not have that. This is this passageway is usually pretty difficult. I mean, nobody usually dies, but it's usually not nothing to shake a stick at. And it's proving to be that way again. Just a lot of bats or whatever. So yeah, hopefully this is just one long stream of me. Um, <laughs> just slowly getting to 110. From 103, even. That's a lot. Seven levels at high, at, like, the end game. I don't think you can do that in one day. Like, just look at this. I don't know how long this stream is, but it feels like it's been at least a half hour. And I've only gone... I've only leveled up once. So it's like, it feels like almost an hour, maybe. Probably not. Maybe not. I'll check. I'll check after this. Get out of here. Your magic. Don't need your magic here. 
your witchcraft. Get out. Everybody, please stop dying. <laughs> stop exploding, you cowards! Um, wow. Okay, so we're finally almost at the final guy, and then I can fucking take a shit! <laughs> uh, if you haven't watched Peace to Peacecraft, starring uh, Justin Malcolm. Justin McElroy? Griffin McElroy. Uh, if you if you are familiar with the McElroys, uh, they are uh, wonderful people, from what I can tell. They are fantastic entertainers. If you like D and D podcasts? They have a D and D podcast called The Adventure Zone. If you like D and D but you've never listened to a D and D podcast, I can't help but recommend that you try it. That's the Adventure Zone. I'm not sponsored by them or anyone. I am sponsored by how much they fucking make me laugh. Um, they're hilarious. Uh, if you haven't heard of Monster Factory, they make weird faces in video games. and it's, They do a really good job, and it's extremely funny. Uh, but Griffin started a series called Peacecraft, where he goes on... And he's gone on a... Um, so... He has an online presence and following already, which explains this next part, um, because he started a... Wow. What is this? Oh. That is... A, okay. Somebody replied to one of my tweets, I guess. Um, so... Or they liked one of my tweets. So, uh, he is a pacifist in World of Warcraft, and what happened was, it's sort of like a, like a guild sprang up around him with um, what appears to be hundreds and hundreds of people. Okay, thank God. Well earned victory. We must, however, stay vigilant. All right, let's get out of here. Yes, 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 the nightmare. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, I will be right back. Um, it's been an hour 27. That is, oof, that is a long time. I think I might level up probably the dungeon after next. Uh, I will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 